Hello, I'm Josh Reagan with Information Transport Solutions. And in today's video, we'll be continuing a video that I did earlier on how to do find me, follow me, pickup groups, and busy lamp features for monitoring a person's call or being able to pick up a call from another user. In the previous video, I went over find me, follow me. That video was about 15 minutes long. And in this video, I will continue and complete the description and setup for busy lamp feature and pickup groups. And the first one that we'll be getting into is the pickup groups. Um, in the Cisco world, they're called pickup groups. And in Cisco, you can only have uh, an extension assigned to a single pickup group. It's a little different in the Sangoma world. And I'll show you today how to set up so that a person can pick up calls from different extensions as long as they have access. There are two parts to this under the advanced tab of an extension. The first one is call groups. And if you read here, it says call groups that this device is a part of can be one or more alphanumeric call groups. Now we're using numeric values here because we migrated this system from a Cisco system and all of their pickup groups were numbers because that's the way Cisco works, and it was just easier for us to remember the numbers as opposed to having to remember a whole new set of information. We just already know the numbers, and it's easier for us to continue on that path. But this is, this first call groups is the ones that it's a member of, so it's the groups that it's a part of. Not necessarily the ones it can call, but if anybody can call its group, then it would be in that group. That makes sense. I know it's kind of confusing. Um, if you've got any familiarity with Cisco calling search pages and partitions, it's kind of the same thing. It gets a little confusing, but just know that this is, say, a member of group 1099. Now, it does this particular section doesn't say anything about it being able to pick up calls from group 1099, but it is a member of that group. The second part is pickup groups. Pickup groups that this device can pick up calls from can be one or more alphanumeric call groups. So this one is saying these are the groups that this phone can pick up calls from. So having it be both in the call group for 10099 and being able to pick up calls from group 1009. That means that this extension will be able to pick up calls from other phones in the group. The reason this is such a thing to think about is, say you have a principal who wants to be able to pick up calls for the bookkeeper and secretary, but doesn't want his calls to be able to be picked up by the bookkeeper or secretary. In the Cisco world, there's the pickup groups have no way around that. If you're in the pickup group, everybody in the pickup group can pick up your call and you can pick up everybody else's call. In this one, you can specify. So if this were the principal, I could say that he's not a member of 10099, but that he can pick up calls for 10099. And then he would be able to use the feature code to pick up calls and it would work, but nobody else would be able to pick up his call. That's the call pickup groups and call groups. It's a little confusing um, just because you have to remember that member of and can call situation. But once you've done it for a little while, it becomes pretty, pretty straightforward. If you need to know the feature code for dialing a pickup group, for, for just picking up a call that's ringing into pickup group, you can go to modules and go to feature codes. And um, you can search through the list or you can do, do a find for pickup. Um, and so you have two here. The asterisk general call pickup. If you dial star 8 and hit send, then it's going to pick up the call. Now there's no way to specify which call, but it will. Um, the directed call pickup, if you hit star star and send, then it'll prompt you for uh, I believe the extension that you want to pick the call up from. So if you know that the secretary's extension is ringing and you want to pick up the call ringing her, 
star star and her extension or his extension and you would be able to pick up that call. That's called pickup groups. That's one way of picking up a call for another user. Um, some people like to use that because they may have four or five people who sit in the same room and they want to be able to easily pick up each other's calls. So it's a sales team or um, just a two or three different secretaries, whatever it may be. The last way of doing this that we're going to go over today is busy lamp features. So we're going to go to modules and then we're going to go to endpoint manager. Now this is done on the endpoint manager device configuration. Then we'll click the button on the right hand side, go to extension mapping, which will bring up our device and extension maps. <clears throat> And then as you see here, we have all of these extensions. We're just going to select the 10,002 for now. We'll go to Actions, and then the second option is CUCP Custom Entries. Now you'll see that this user already has two Busy Lamp features set up. What you're going to want to do is, providing the phone has the buttons to allow it, um, this person has a uh, Sangoma S400. 05 phone I believe. So because they have an S405 they have uh, multiple buttons that they can assign easily to whichever option they would like. So we're going to look here and see that they have their line 2 and line 3 key buttons set to busy lamp features for different people. So if you look what you'll do you'll click BLF in the type field then you would put a label, that's what's going to show up on their screen as what this line is labeled. And then you're going to put a value. And the value that you want to put here is the person's extension that you're trying to monitor. And then you will put, <clears throat> leave it in account one, and then you can select the alert type. You can have it be an audio only alert, so there would be nothing come across the screen, they would just hear a beep and then they would be able to tell that the call is ringing and answer the call or just monitor the call. You can do a visual so that they don't hear a beep but they see it on their screen and they can see who's calling the person and they can answer the call or whatever it is they're trying to do. Or you can do none. So maybe you're wanting to use Busy Lamp feature as just a way for the secretary or whoever to be able to see that a person is on the phone. Um, we see this mostly as the secretary wants to be able to see that the bookkeeper or principal are on the phone and they want to be able to let the person that they're, that's calling for that person to know, hey, the principal's on the phone at the moment, going to take a message. Then they don't have to call the principal and find out if he's available at the moment. They already know they're on the phone. Can you call them back? Can we leave a message? Or whatever it is they want to do. It's all dependent on what you're wanting to do. Now we do have some situations where if the secretary is there and the principal is out and the secretary knows the principal's out and he said, hey, take all my calls and take messages, then she can answer the call. Now what would happen there is it would either give a visual or audio alert, she would hear or see that, and then she would be able to press the button that is tied to the busy lamp feature and it will pull the call to her phone and she can answer it. There are a few different options there. Um, you just kind of have to know what the person wants to do. What they will see on their side is that when a person is off of the phone, so they're not using their handset, they will see a solid green button. If the person is in a call, they will see the light as solid red. If the person is receiving a call, then the button will blink. And while it's blinking, they can push it and answer the call. You can turn that feature off. If you wanted the secretary to just be able to see the principals on the phone, then you could turn it off and then she would only be able to see, not be able to pick up the call. I know that is important in some situations depending on the use case. So that is how you set up pickup groups and busy lamp features. They're pretty basic and there's not a lot of configuration there. Um, there are some other things you can do with those buttons, but we'll get into those into a later video. Today we just wanted to go over the basics of those. And If you have any questions about any other setup options for those, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get to them.
Thank you.